Happy holidays to you. Rick Guerrero here along with Greg Roden. I hope you're having a, a happy holiday. I hope you have some money left over, you know, after the holidays. I know I don't. You no, should. nobody does uh, after no. buying <laughs> gifts and uh -huh. all that. Got to save money for car parts, right? Well, yeah, but hopefully you got Christmas gifts in car parts for uh -huh. Christmas. Yeah. That's what we hope for every yeah. year. Anyway, um, December 25th, marathon all day. New Year's Day marathon all day. Mm -hmm. And we're running as many episodes as we can. And we came up with, again, questions for each other, and off the cuff, don't know what you're going to ask mm -hmm. me, and you don't know what I'm going to ask you. So why don't you go first, and then I've got a question okay. for you. The street scene, I'll tell you what, has been my, my dream show right now. I just love doing it, okay? And I go to these shows, and I'm just so pumped up over it and everything. I just, every, I just think about it all the time. It's my, my passion. You, you can see it in my face a lot of times, all the, the smile. What a all life. All right? yeah, you think I, about uh, a street scene I, all day. I, I do, not, you know, during the summertime yeah. especially. Yeah. There's things how we can change and do this. you have any new ideas for street scene next year? Well, I can tell you one thing. And I want to touch on this after we get done with these mm -hmm. questions. Um, no, you're not getting a new host, right? <laughs> you're fired. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, I want to expand it. I know we're supposed to stay in our coverage area. Mm -hmm. And that was, uh, you know, kind of brought mm -hmm. up when we started this show. But with the invention of YouTube and the expansion mm -hmm. of YouTube, and we're on YouTube, we get a lot of YouTube views now. And I want to go outside of our Armstrong viewing area a little bit. We kind of pushed it with the Hermitage Car Show. Mm -hmm. um, what, the Greenville? Greenville. And those were huge. Yeah, they were, yeah. you know, so we've got some mm -hmm. ideas, and I want to push it out of the limits here. Because we've touched on as a lot of these car shows in the area, and mm -hmm. they've got a lot of publicity. And we want to kind of give fair game to a lot of other people too. And a lot of the guys from this area go to these shows. Yeah, You'll I mean, see them over there. Yeah, sure. people come, you know, people come from well, our street scene car and custom bike show. Mm -hmm. We had people from New York mm -hmm. and Meadville and Erie and all that. Pittsburgh, a lot from Pittsburgh. Yeah, a lot. And Beaver County, so yep. people come to these shows. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the vision I have so for these shows. Does that mean we can go to Ravenna this year? We'll talk about that. Okay. I'm yeah. not saying no, and I'm not well, saying Ravenna. yes, but well, Ravenna, I lean towards yes on that one. Ravenna last year had 1,200 cars, and it's just a car cruising. It's a yeah. one Wednesday night. I and think. I think, yeah, we're going to have to do mm -hmm. stuff like that. Um, There's a big one down in Cambridge, or uh, Cranberry, PA. Oh, yeah, I've been to that <clears throat> yeah, one. It's a Friday night, um, so it's like It's huge. 12, I've been, I, I used to live down there, mm -hmm. and... Uh, Back when I lived down there in the early 2000s, there wasn't a lot to choose from for mm. car shows. It drove me crazy. And uh, that was one. That's a that weekly was car huge. show. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. And you just look forward to that all week. And it, it started off when I was living down there. It was just in a church parking lot. It was mm -hmm. smaller. I mean, smaller, I'm saying 200 cars. Yeah. Now but they're now about 1,000 cars a it's week. Huge. Yeah, they're up there. And yeah, if you get a chance to go to that one down mm -hmm. in uh, Cranberry, it's big now down in the Wexford area. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Rick, I can tell you what, what are your, let me say, what are your goals for owning cars in the future, in uh, the next what, few years? What are my goals? Yeah. Uh, are you going to keep what you got, or are you looking to Well, I like else? to shuffle them around every once in a while. I, I, the T-Bird's fun. The T-Bird's a beautiful car. I get so many compliments on that car. I just like, after a while, I'll just get something new, you know? Mm -hmm. I, that was my dream car for a while, 64 T-Bird convertible. I got it. Okay, it's like coming out of my system. I put a lot of money into a thing too, so those, yeah. that's not a cheap it's coming car. Coming out of your pocketbook too. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not yeah. a cheap car. Believe me, that T-Bird. Everything no. about it is expensive. Everything, but uh, I like to get something a little bit more civil that I can drive a little bit more. That the T-Bird's more or less it was built to be a show car, mm -hmm. and that's one thing you got to realize. Show cars and street cars are so much different. Uh, I'm trying to make this into a street car now. But they just make it look good. And all this hidden stuff you don't see, mm -hmm. that's where it gets you, you know. Yeah. Oh, look at this car. It's beautiful. I that, got the wow factor on this car, okay, mm -hmm. when I bought it. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. But there are so many hidden things that you don't see. And you have to put the money into it, you know. But, now, the Cougar was more of a driver car. Oh, it was a great car. He drove car, it everywhere. Right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Didn't yeah. mind getting a little nick on it or something like that. That's you the know? beauty of having something yeah, like that. Yeah. Uh, to answer my own question... 
Again, I keep everything. I, I don't change. I'm mm -hmm. kind of, my, I drive my wife nuts. I don't change. <laughs> so I keep, I still have my first car. I still, I keep them. Uh -huh. And I keep them, but I'm going to just hang on. I like to do a little improvements here and there. Like last year on the Caprice, I always wanted to put the Chevelle stripes on it. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I mean, you know, again, it's a family grocery getter, but now it's funny because everybody's like, why do you keep that car? Well, it's my first car. Mm -hmm. Now it's starting to get looks. I'm like, I haven't seen one of those forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now it's starting to gain some attention. And I'm just going to hang on to it. Mm -hmm. Hang on to Herbie. Hang on to my 61 Bug and enjoy them. I mm -hmm. want to enjoy them. I mean, I've got kids now, so time is of the essence. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to get time to do anything with them. But, you know, at some point I will, and I'll have something to enjoy out there. But I did want to ask you a question. I noticed something this year, and I'd love the viewers to either drop me a Facebook message on Armstrong, on the Armstrong Facebook page, or email channel20 at agoc.com. I noticed something this year that I've never seen before. People are leaving the shows early. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, I've noticed people over the years, they come in, they've stayed till, you know, an hour before the show and they leave. What I noticed that at Thunder in the Park, we were there for an hour and people were rolling away. Mm -hmm. And then people would come into the car crews and then stay 30 minutes and they roll away and half the cars are gone. Have you noticed that trend yeah. now? Yeah. Yep. I don't, you know, I don't know why that's happening if people were just like, ah, you know, mm -hmm. I, I showed up, I got my fill, I'm leaving. And they don't sit around as much, but I've noticed that. Email us, and you know, I want to know why. I think a lot of this, a lot of times, it's a, a late show, and guys, they, guys are getting older, like me, and they just want to be home at a certain time, especially mm -hmm. before dark. Anyway, a lot of guys, yeah. like, like if a show starts at six o'clock and goes till nine, they'll start leaving about seven thirty, eight o'clock. Yeah, and they want to get home, and it's just. No, not young, but like, oh, let's go to the bar afterwards and get a drink. They don't do that. And when yeah. you get older, it's like, I want to get home, put this baby away, you know, yeah. and watch my favorite show. Or Maybe you know. it is a generation mm -hmm. gap because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if, yeah, maybe it's, you know, we, we all are getting older. It, That's normally, a good thing. I don't know. Thing. I can't get out of bed. That's a good back thing. back hurts in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I love getting older. It's just, it's a, it's a positive. He likes he might, getting older. Well, sure. There's the alternative, though. You could <laughs> <laughs> be in, what, that, in that pine box. I, in the I appreciate my age because yeah. I've watched many people before me not make it this yeah. far. So I appreciate getting older. So I, I think you're right. I mm -hmm. guess it is the gen, mm -hmm. age difference because it is an old. This is an older hobby, and that's why we keep pushing. Get your kids involved mm -hmm. because yeah, the technology is here. Yeah, everybody's got their face glued to the phones now or streaming stuff. I think, and somebody said, it's going to come back around. Mm -hmm. I think the kids, you know, like my four-year-old, I think he's going to be like, oh, I grew up with this technology. Mm -hmm. I'm bored with it. Hey, Dad, what is that? What's in the garage? I, th I think it's going to come back around and start, the interest is going to start picking up I a little bit so. more. I think the technology, it's going to be there forever. But I think the interest is going to start going mm -hmm. back. That reminds me, you brought up something. We went to, a uh, few of us guys from my car club, uh, Schnagel Valley Antique Automobile Club, we went to Hershey this year for the fall oh, wow. meet. And, and we kept saying, I can't believe how many electric scooters are in here. All those the old guys, yeah. we are running into them every, <laughs> every year. It's more and more. So these guys want to go, but they need their scooters. So yeah. you can just see how old it's getting, you know. And, well, what do you think? I, mean, I got a, one more question to ask, and I swear I'll let you watch Street Scene instead of us hearing us talk. <laughs> Electric cars, do you think you'll ever own one? Uh, you know what, that's the thing in the future. By the way, did you see the new Mustang Mach-E? I did see that. What do you think of that? No, I'm sorry. You know, I, 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 I am old school. I want a Mustang, and yeah, I don't want... I don't mind the Mustang. I don't mind the electric car. I thought it was a great idea. It's a good-looking car. But why use the Mustang name? Mustang Mach. You know, it's like Mach 1. You know, it's like, come well, on. It's uh, like the Eclipse, the Mitsubishi Eclipse mm -hmm. Cross. Okay, mm -hmm. that drove me absolutely... My son is into the Eclipses. Mm -hmm. It drove him psychotic mm -hmm. when they came out. Mm -hmm. Why are you using the Eclipse name for a crossover? Why are you using a Mustang? Mm -hmm. Leave them. A Mustang's a legend yeah. since 64. Yeah. Leave it alone. There's a million names out there. Sure. Why did you do that? 
I, we were looking up yesterday, Buddy and I, we were looking it up. Uh, we thought maybe they were going to stop making the regular Mustangs, oh, but no. God, they I got the not. 2020s we were looking at. There was a big line of Mustangs you mm -hmm. can make. You can buy the GT350, the GT500, and then there's the Mustang Mach-E. And I'm like... And they even used mock. Yeah, it's like a cross. Is it a crossover, an SUV? I or? don't know. It's an electric I'm sorry. car. It's probably faster than all the other ones. pulling off the name. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I, please, leave, leave it alone. From the old school mm -hmm. guys here, leave oh, the yeah. classics alone. Again, uh, and when they brought... I know people loved the GTOs when they came out. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. my God. It was just a European whatever it was. But... Uh, yeah, leave the. I I don't like it. Yeah, I know. can't figure it out. It's a beautiful car, but why not another name like a Mustang, like the Colt, or or something else on the Pony line, or the Pony, or you yeah. know, or just something, you know. Yeah, but, I don't know. You know I, I I couldn't figure that yeah. out. That's that's corporate America. For I'm you. sure they researched it and did all. But that. we're just sitting back criticizing them, you know. But but. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You know, that's what you know. It's, we can criticize it because. I like leave a Mustang alone. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, you're gonna make a you know Camaro crossover too. Or yeah. A, hey, let's make the new Challenger. That's the thing of the future. All the electric cars, and you, you yeah. better get used to it. That's but you know what? Doing. What's exciting now? Mm -hmm. Lordstown Motors. Congratulations to Lordstown because Lordstown Motors is going to make the electric truck there. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you how excited when our friends at Lordstown. GM got, you know, laid off and that. It was devastating. Mm -hmm. Rick and I and everybody in the car world, it was devastating. We have a lot of friends that work at GM. Mm -hmm. But I hope that this Lordstown Motors takes off like it is planning to because trucks, Rick is right. The electric vehicles are the wave of the future. Mm -hmm. and You have to gonna, change. And, and you know what? You have to change. After riding in that Tesla, I never rode Woo! an electric car. <laughs> That's fast. Wow. It's fast. It's fast. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. If I, I still love the rumble. I still I want to mm -hmm. hear that. But and we can add that to your, you know, sound system. The same. <laughs> I need to feel that. I need to feel those uh -huh. exhaust in there. But uh -huh. I tell you what, they are fast and, oh, and yeah. they're improving. And thank you, Lordstown Motors, for bringing that here to I us. I saw something on Facebook today about... Uh, Tesla come out with a new truck. I saw it today yeah. too, and they, and, and they ran it against the uh, Porsche 911, and it beat the Porsche 911 on the drag strip. You can't. Oh I, my and God. As much as I like a gas engine, <clears throat> uh -huh. electric's gonna whop them every time yeah. because they it went are to zero so... to sixty in like I don't know three seconds or three point two <laughs> seconds. Holy moly, man! No, I don't know. Uh -huh. I, and it's a truck now. Just let me drive something like that once. Uh -huh. I just wanna. I'd love to drive something mm -hmm. like that that much speed just once. But straight scene. Watch it all Christmas Day, all New Year's Day. We're going done done these segments. Hope you enjoyed it. If you got any questions, email us channel20 at agoc.com. Drop us a Facebook message on Armstrong. And happy holidays to all of you. Enjoy Street Scene with Rick Guerrera, Greg Roten. We're for Street Scene, and we'll see you down, down the road. road. Happy holidays.